I actually used to do prank calls oh, as yes. uh, Miss Swan. Yes. I'm back in my mid late twenties. You know, I never grew up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I made a promise <laughs> to Jeffrey <laughs> to not grow up. God damn it! Oh, good. Um, that was fantastic. So for the second one, uh, let's do. What are you gonna kill us with this time? Um, how about a little SNL this go around, and we'll do Will Ferrell doing Harry Carey. Hi, everybody. Hey, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I know I would. A top of dog with a nice cold Budweiser. Hey, was the moon made of cheese? I think so. I like to think it was. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a requirement for BZ to close his eyes when he does impersonations. <laughs> you, 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 you close one sense, you, you, you get the get other in. senses tenfold. <laughs> That's right. You, you literally personify the impersonation. Hell yeah. Now, I got, I got a side question, though, because I feel like you have to ask this. Especially, I feel like BZ and, and B-Word myself, because AJ's a little bit younger, but back then, you know, there's a lot of heydays for SNL, but... Did you prefer Mad TV over SNL or did you prefer SNL? So Mad TV had some iconic skits. Yes. Miss Swan, yeah. Stewart. Yeah. Yep. Um, there were a couple of them, but I mean, none that really stick out other than those. But SNL, man, there was in the nineties and early two thousands, Jesus Christ, there was everything. Yeah. I mean, all of the comedians and <clears throat> I mean, hell you've got uh happy Madison productions. Yeah. Everybody in there was a cast mm-hmm. member. You got Will Ferrell. He was huge. Mm-hmm. Tina Fey, um, Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. They all, I mean, it's yeah. just, stellar cast for yeah from like 90 to like years. 0405 snl yeah. had a reign of people i yeah. as far as like yes comedians and actors actresses yeah i think snl hit the spot but there was something i loved like mad tv just felt like so dollar general to me that it was so fucking good <laughs> yeah. and the people coming out of it because their their cast never really changed they were like the rejects but yeah. their shit was so much funnier I felt like they're, I felt like SNL. It was edgier. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like SNL, you know, had to play to their, to the normal crowd, especially in the 2000s, like 90s, it was kind of all, all fun and games yeah. and like all over the place. But that's what I liked about Mad TV was it was, um, it was way edgier and it was, it just felt more fun. So I, yeah. I enjoyed Mad TV, but I will, I will actually raise you guys like in its prime. Like not living color. in Mad TV's yes. prime, or yes, that's exactly what I was going to yeah. go to in Living yeah. Color. Yeah, in li- dude, favorite. the the skit where Jim Carrey is the newscaster and he's spending the night with a bum, <laughs> and he asks the bum where to you know does he have a bathroom he can use, and the bum pulls out a pickle jar, <laughs> and it's got just the one big ass dill pickle in there. He says, "I think there's a little bit more room in here if you have to pee." <laughs> I swear to God, dude, that was that was one of the or homie the clown or yeah. you know like fire like the two, fire the, two snaps or oh fire oh yeah oh I don't know if I shared this with you guys. Did you know that Fire Marshal Bill actually makes a cameo in Liar Liar? Yes, really? yes, I did. Yeah, it's, it's at it's so it's when it's at the end of the yep. movie. It's yep. at the end of the movie when Jim carries on the gurney yep. and it and it shows his family. <clears throat> you have Fire Marshal Bill out in the crowd. And he, and he like he doesn't have a speaking line, but you can you can tell whatever he's saying, oh, you is whatever know. Fire Marshal Bill was saying. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you something. So, but yeah, but I I don't like I think when we talk peak Saturday Night Live, we're talking Adam Sandler, Chris Farley, mm-hmm. Dana Carvey. You're talking like ninety to ninety six. Like, yeah, I mean even it's, it's even a little before peak. Mike Myers, Chevy Chase, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dana Steve Carvey, Martin Martin Short. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. geez i mean the list goes on there's there's a bunch of them yeah yeah 100 like, percent. when the original cast left and um the showrunner left i always forget his name but in like the 80s the only good thing to come out of it was was really um eddie murphy 
Eddie Murphy like really held mm-hmm. that down until that guy came back. God damn, what's his name? The, the showrunner of SNL when he came back. But like during the 80s, when you look at it during the 80s and it was just kind of like just mayhem running around in there. You're like, oh man, they almost Are we lost talking it. Lauren Michaels? Lauren Michaels, yeah. Lauren Michaels okay. left in the 80s okay. and someone else was running the show. And like I said, the only good thing that came out of it was Eddie Murphy. But when he went yeah. out of the show and everyone left, it was like, oh shit, where's this going? And then he came back and then that's when that 88 cast started. And uh, uh, it just went forward from there. And like Wayne's World and everything else that came out of that really pulled it back in. And if it wasn't yeah. for that and then Sandler and that whole crew coming in a couple years later after that, SNL would have been in the dump. So like you can't, yeah. you can't tell me that there's other generations that are better than that generation. You just can't. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can definitely you can but you're not i know we got to take a break here shortly but i want to bring up one more one more show to talk with you guys about to see if you guys had watched it and what your opinion was but then i also have a a, a question for you too so the the show is all that did you guys watch all that oh, yeah. on nickelodeon Fuck in yeah, the 90s oh yeah yep. dude mm-hmm. that that's such an underrated sketch comedy for like yeah. our generation it was, that was so that good. was a, a an R age yeah. SNL. It was, yeah. certainly yes. was or stand up yeah. sketch comedy show. Yeah, and 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 the big fat chick, and I say big as far as tall and fat as far as fat, whatever her name was, the one that was jumping mm-hmm. on the trampoline in the in the thing, like she was hilarious. Oh, and yeah. she looks she looks identical the, today. The exact same. The exact. And when same. we're talking SNL, I mean Keenan's now a, a cast member on uh, yep. on on SNL, mm, and, the longest running and, cast uh, member. Yeah. So my question is, though, is who is your favorite guest host on SNL? Do you have one? Can you think of one? Man, that's a that's a tough one. I know. I don't really know that I can have one locked in. I did really, really like. Damn it. I'm trying to blank on his fucking name right now. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. There we go. Uh, when he said Martin Short, this always kept was popping in my head. But um, mm-hmm. Steve Martin, when he went on there with the original cast, like like watching him uh, like take off uh, Bill Murray's like jewelry and stuff, and like flipping him on the stage, uh, like watching that old episode and then watching him go through the whole thing because he is like a sketch person, so he's not like a host going in there that maybe like a theatrical, you know, normal actor that maybe isn't so much into the sketch scene. Seeing someone like that, it's amazing. I love that type of stuff. So the more sketch oriented people like him or jim carrey i'll always love those people the best but i think definitely it's gonna be steve martin for me no me you got a favorite no my favorite no. was john goodman <laughs> oh, john goodman when john okay. goodman when john, john goodman, goodman was that chick during the whole uh clinton scandal where he was wearing the dress yeah and he was talking to monica Lewinsky about like the come on her dress and stuff <laughs> that that was so funny that was so funny <laughs> but all right well boys we're gonna take a real quick break and we'll be right back. What's up, everyone? It's Mitch from the Two Guys in a Dark podcast, and I am joined by Bobby, the only guy I know who thinks about chili dogs while he's hanging out at your mom's house. You damn right. And speaking of things I like to do on Sundays, nothing beats a brand new episode of Two Guys in a Dark. Oh, tell me more, Daddy. We sit down, discuss life, pop culture, entertainment, and much, much more. So join us weekly as we take to the open road with a turkey burger and some cabbage rolls. Right here on the Two Guys in a Dark podcast. Welcome back to Raunchy Regret. This is B-Word. So stoned. You, uh, you've got another thing here. This is a new segment as well. You're calling it Find and Replace. So set this up for us, baby, and uh, tell us what we're doing. Hell yeah. Find and Replace. We're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to find a, a dish that is like typically served like on a holiday or maybe just like a normal thing people eat, right? Like sushi, breakfast, dessert, barbecue for the 4th of July, Thanksgiving, right? Think of a dish that is served. It can either be an entree a dessert, um, a side, something within that setting that's served, you can change up the recipe in something or you can just completely replace a dish completely, right? Like it doesn't need to be there. You don't like it. I'll give an example. For Thanksgiving, let's get mashed potatoes the fuck out of here. 
Doesn't need to be on the plate. I don't need that shit. I want to replace it with tamales. All Ooh. fucking day. I will take a tamale over mashed potatoes all day. Mashed potatoes have to be done in a very specific way or else it's just not good to me. Most of the time it just comes out dry and just like I'm eating fucking chalk. I don't need that. I need shit. to challenge your I need to challenge your point there. Would mashed potatoes be considered an entree and or would tamales be considered a side dish? When I think tamales, I think of them as an entree. You can have them either or because you can order a la carte as a side dish. You could also have my sister in law this last Thanksgiving did uh turkey dinner tamales. Mm. So she did turkey oh. and dressing in the tamales. Mm. I think she may have put a little mashed potatoes in there just to piss off stoned. Nah, we're done. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's bad. It's bad. That's that's pre- that's pretty good. I you know they um, at least the sushi restaurants that I have here locally they do a dessert roll, so they'll take the uh, you still have rice in it, but they'll they'll put strawberries and bananas. They'll cut those in in the bot in the middle of where the the fish would normally go. Then they'll wrap it with a different paper, so it's not seaweed. I don't remember what yeah. the paper is. It's like that put soy like a vanilla. Yeah. yeah, it's like a soy paper, or like a mochi. They'll put kind like of, a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very similar. And then they'll put like a, some sort of drizzle on it, whether it be like chocolate sauce or strawberry sauce or whatever. That typically comes out pretty good. Um, the rice is what throws me off on that, to be honest with you, because I don't think rice and dessert at the same time because I'm white and that's how it works. You've never had tapioca. But, um, I hate tapioca. Tapioca is the fucking <laughs> grossest thing in the entire world. Oh, so tapioca, you don't like boba? No, boba can go suck itself off. I fucking hate boba. The, why would people no 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 we're not doing some this. people just no. like balls in their mouth now right? it's okay Doesn't okay mean you have to speaking of balls in your mouth i gotta come in and talk here um when it comes to the dessert sushi i've never had dessert sushi because that just seems like the most retarded fucking thing i've ever heard of in my life but while you were talking about it i started brainstorming i'm like you know what'd be good as dessert sushi if they could make the flavor right is get rice pudding and make that into a sushi roll and slice that bad bitch up. Now that would be yeah. the, the same consistency. You sprinkle a little mm-hmm. cinnamon on top. Now, now we're talking. We're and we're we're intermingling. We're we're making Chinese and Mexicans fuck each other, and we're making a baby of dessert roll. That's what we're doing. That's a so, fucking little, hardworking baby. Holy that's shit! Right. It's a little Mexicanese. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get the Chinese from? The, uh, yeah, because the Chinese really own the Japanese. That's just history. Look up your history book. Oh, okay. okay. That's all right. That's all right. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I got to go back you to like the, Japanese some Japanese. sort of empire okay. or whatever. All right. Yeah, fair. 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 What about you, BZ? What are you? So, what are you replacing? What are you doing? What do you? What do you not like? So, I thought we were doing all five of these categories. Me too. So <laughs> all of them. Yeah, that's what I so, thought too. <laughs> I wrote it. I was like, let's do so, all five. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. It's our podcast. We can do what we want. So, apparently, right. B word and Jordan got confused. No, no, no. I yeah. was, I was on the full roll with you. I thought you were going to kind of run down them and ask each person. And then it kind of just went sideways. And then I started thinking about a rice pudding sushi roll. And I'm like, man, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Take that so, back. B word got confused. So, well, no, you said sushi and it made me think of sushi. So I just spoke up. But yeah, let's go through. Let's go through them all. So BZ, start at, the, start at Thanksgiving. Yeah. So Thanksgiving, it's hard for me to decide which one I want to throw in the trash, be it the stuffing or dressing or any of the sweet potato yam bullshit where they fucking roast the marshmallows on top. Ew, disgusting, gross, throw the trash. Get rid of it. Just give me a cheesecake. I'll be all right. We'll replace that shit with a cheesecake. A little okay. strawberries on top. You want it to be that heavy, though, after eating all that? I don't I don't have yeah, this delicious figure without being able to handle that. His shirt says plumptable, okay? <laughs> Goddamn right it does. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's go. what about barbecue at fourth of July? I said this one was tough. Cause I mean, in Texas especially, I mean, a good fourth of July, you're gonna have just smoked meats, homemade size bukus of booze and mm. blowing shit up so it's really really hard for me to figure anything out i'd say the only thing that i don't want on the table would maybe be macaroni salad and i just don't like it my, my wife loves it so that's probably why it was there 
So I'd just throw that in the trash. It's got to be made like traditional Hawaiian mac salad. If it's not, 